Hi, Valley Christian School. It's Pastor Kevin. And if we haven't met before, I get to be the Bible teacher here at Valley Christian School in grades five and six. So if we're out, if I see you at, during um, playtime, lunch, whatever, before or after school, say hi to me. I'd love to meet you if we haven't met before. Now, if you didn't know this, Valley Christian School is a part of Valley Bible Church. And I get to be the pastor at Valley Bible Church as well. So Valley Bible Church and Valley Christian School, we work together. We are one ministry. And guess what? Valley Bible Church is meeting every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. here at the school. And if you don't have a home church, I would love for you to come join us and, and hang out with us at 10 a.m. Sunday mornings here at the school. We meet right under the tent and we have service together. We worship God and we get to know other people and get to know the Lord better. So if you don't have, don't have a church, join us tomorrow, uh, Sunday, 10 a.m. Love to have you. So I wanted to talk about exercising our faith and what does that mean? So exercise is, is one of the things that we need to do to get into shape. So you guys ready to get into shape with me? Let's do it. All right, so let's do some lunges. All right, everybody stand up, stand up. All right, so get, put your right leg forward and we're gonna go forward like this. We're gonna do a lunge and we're gonna stretch and hold it there for a second and then back up. Let's do another one. One, two, three, go. All right, let's do another one. One more. All right, oh, how does that feel like? Let's do some stretching like this. Oh, reach for the sky. All right, all right, we're gonna do something else right now. We're gonna do a jumping jack. I don't even know if you guys know what that is. You go like this, right? Put, hold your hands out to the side and then go up, down, up, down. Can you do that? One, two, three, four. Wait, hold on a minute. What, oh, what, oh, let's do this. Let's do some weights. You guys ever done this before? Do some curls before? Like, get some big old muscles like me, you know, some giant muscles. Wait a minute, hold on. This isn't an exercise video. This is chapel. Oh, I got confused. I thought Mrs. Johnson wanted me to do an exercise video, but instead we're doing exercising your faith. What does that mean to exercise your faith? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So how do we grow spiritually? How do we get into shape spiritually? Well, let's talk about it from a physical perspective. How does a person get into to better shape physically. Well, you exercise, right? You work out, you run, you do different things to help your body physically, and you need to eat right, right? So all of us have a choice to exercise or to relax and sit on the couch and watch TV all day. So you and I have to choose to either physically exercise or to just sit on the couch. Also, we have a choice to eat the right things. That helps us get into better shape as well. So we can choose to either eat healthy and good for you foods like this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but these are cucumbers. I love cucumbers with a little bit of lemon and salt, so tasty. But you know what else I like to eat sometimes? Cupcakes. Who likes cupcakes out there? I do, and, and it's, it's good to have these once in a while, but not every day, because otherwise cupcakes are not gonna help you get into shape. My daughter made these cupcakes, Jasmine. Oh, they're so yummy, and I'd love to eat all of these cupcakes in one sitting, just boom, boom, boom. But if I did that over and over again, would that help me get into shape? No. So we've gotta remember, spiritually, we need to exercise as well. We need to physic spiritually, grow and, and get into better shape. How do we do that? So some of you know this, maybe your parents are going to the gym now that the gyms have opened back up. During this quarantine, a few months ago, all the gyms were closed and we couldn't go work out. And so we'd have to walk, do exercise here at home and stuff. And that was good. But when I went back to the gym a few weeks ago, when they opened back up, it was really hard for me because I was out of shape physically. I couldn't do all the weights and the running and the, you know, all the stuff that I was used to doing and it took a while for me to get back up to that level of, of health and fitness. And now that we, Andrew and I, Mrs. Ivani's and I have been going for the last three, four weeks, I've gotten stronger, I feel better. 
I don't get tired as easy. So faith, our growth in Christ is a lot like growing and getting into shape physically. We need to do that spiritually. How do we grow in our faith? How do we increase in our faith? So one time Jesus was having a conversation with his disciples, with his followers. And they were asking Jesus, Jesus, how do we increase in our faith? How do we grow in our faith? How do we do that on a real practical level by like forgiving people, for example, because they were being hurt by people. They were being ignored by their family and they were being talked about and they were, they were going through some difficulties. How many of you have ever been hurt by someone you love? That's no fun, right? When someone does something spiritually or physically or emotionally, they say something about you. And so Jesus told his disciples a story and he said, one of the things that you and I need to do is we need to forgive people. And we can only do that if we grow and increase in our faith. I want to read this passage to you from Luke 17 that talks about how we can increase our faith and how God can help us. In Luke 17, verses 5 to 6, the apostles, the followers of Jesus, asked them this. They said, Lord, help us increase our faith. In verse 6, he replied, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Now, the disciples thought that this was a really difficult, hard thing to do. So they said, how do we do that though? Really, what does that mean, Jesus? Well, he was saying, if you have just a little teeny bit of faith, God can do amazing things. Now a mustard seed, I don't know if you've ever seen one, I wish I had one to show you, is so tiny. It's smaller than a lemon seed or an orange seed. It's really, really, really tiny. And Jesus was saying, if we just have that amount of faith, and we pray and we ask God to do things, He can do amazing and awesome and sometimes even miraculous things. But it takes us having faith. How do we grow in that faith though? How do we get stronger? How do we exercise that faith? Well, one of the things that we can do is believe truly that Jesus is in charge of this world. Believe that He is all-powerful. When I was in college, I was a counselor at a Christian camp up in the mountains. And we used to sing this song with our students. And some of you may know this song. The song went like this. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. And we used to sing that song and the kids would get into it. There's hand motions to it. It's a really fun song. But what was that song communicating? It was saying that we need to have just a little bit of faith. But also, Jesus talks about this in other passages of Scripture, that we can help our faith by exercising and growing in the ways that we um, draw closer to Him. So how can we, as followers of Jesus, exercise our faith? What are some things that we can do so that we can grow closer to God because we love Him and we want to get into better shape spiritually? Well, like I said earlier, one of the things we can do is exercise. We can exercise spiritually. So what, how do we do that? Like I said earlier, we go to church. We gather with other Christians. Like I said, if you don't have a home church, join us here at Valley Bible Church, 10 a.m. Sunday morning, or find another church. Other things you can do is to just treat other people with kindness and with God's love. That right there is a way to exercise your faith. Another way is to worship maybe to sing songs, maybe to play a sport or to dance, do something for God's glory. Here's a real practical one. Tell others about Jesus. Another thing to do is to show others that you love them with the love of Christ. You could do that today, maybe at home with your parents. You can offer to help clean the house or clean the kitchen without them asking you. That would blow them away. Another thing you can do not just exercise, but you can also eat the right things. What do I mean by that? You can eat the Word of God. Now, does that mean like you're going to take your Bible and start chewing on it and eating it? No, that doesn't, that's not what I mean. But what I mean by that is you can go home and read your Bible and start asking questions about it with your parents or with your teachers or with me. 
and you can start understanding what God's word is so that you can know it. Another thing you can do is to memorize scripture. That's hiding God's word in our hearts so that we don't sin against God, so that we grow and exercise our faith. And once again, why do we do these things? Why do we exercise the faith? Why do we read the Bible? Why do we pray? Why do we go to church? Why do we do these things? Not because we have to do them, but because we love God and we wanna grow closer to Him. And we also wanna grow closer to others and show God's love to others, other people. So I'm gonna encourage you, do something today to increase, to exercise your faith. Maybe today you can go home and read a scripture or two, or do this with your parents if you don't read well. Help them and, and they can help you to, to get into God's word. Maybe you can spend some time in prayer today, praying for the needs of your family, for your friends, worshiping God through singing. Maybe you can join us on Sunday or another church where you can go and worship God together with your family and, and, and make friends and draw, draw closer to God and to other people. Maybe it could be as practical as this. Today, you can show kindness to one of your classmates or to your teachers. Or when, like I said, when you go home, show your parents that you love them. Give them a hug. Tell them I love you. Say, mom and dad, can I help make dinner tonight? Or can I help clean the kitchen? or do something around the house to show them that you love God and that you love them and you exercise your faith. So Valley Christian School, thanks so much for listening. Why don't we take a minute to pray? Let's pray. Lord God, I thank you for this, this beautiful day that Lord, we were able to gather through this video and to talk about how we can exercise our faith. And Lord God, I just pray for everyone who watched this video that Lord, you would help them, you would help me, all of us, grow closer and stronger to you, Lord God. And I pray that every single one of us, as we exercise our faith, as we grow closer to you, Lord Jesus, that our lives would point people to you, Lord. So I thank you for this day, and I pray that every single one of us would do something about our faith, that we would exercise and grow so that God, Jesus, you would be lifted up. We pray this in your precious and holy name, and everyone watching said, Amen. All right, Valley Christian School, Pastor Kevin saying bye here. Hopefully I'll see you on Tuesday. And if, like I said, if you don't have a home church, join us at Valley Bible Church here at the school Sunday at 10 a.m. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.